I'm Doug Dunbar. Welcome to CBS 11 News at 5 o'clock and streaming online with CBSN DFW. We're going to start at 5 with a mother of two who's now been identified by investigators and linked to accused serial killer Jason Thornburg. The victim's family spoke this afternoon just a short time ago with our Jason Allen about this new revelation. Though they didn't see each other often anymore, every few days Lauren Phillips would call her mother, tell her where she was staying and who she was with. The last time I talked to her, she said, Mama, I just want to see your face and hug you. I love you. I miss you. And um, I unfortunately told her no because she needed to get help. The next time Phillips heard about her daughter, it was a call from an investigator at the medical examiner's office. She's identified in court documents as one of the victims of Jason Thornburg, accused of killing three people in a Euless motel in September and two others over the last four years. She just ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time. This man was a master in disguise, I would say. She befriended him. Thornburg was known to pass out postcards for a church, be seen reading a Bible and talking about God. Phillips thinks that may have connected with her daughter, who had attended several churches. She had struggled for years, though, with drug addiction, mental illness, and couldn't get better despite her family's efforts. We tried everything we could do, and ultimately it's, it's up to the person to decide if they want help or not. Uh, we took Lauren to many places because she didn't want to stay. They let her go, and she never got better. And that's how she ended up at the wrong place. The 34-year-old is survived by two teenage sons. There is still one woman who was killed in last month's murders who has not been publicly identified yet. In Euless, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason, thank you. Also of note, according to court records, this Jason Thornburg we talk about is scheduled to make his first court appearance uh, on the Capitol murder case, and that's coming up Friday this week.